Hello, my name is George Pappy. Uh, I want to thank you for checking out my Kickstarter video on uh, my documentary project, The Green Girl. I'm an independent filmmaker in the Los Angeles area, and you may have even seen my latest film, Few Options, which is currently airing on the Showtime networks. My current project is called The Green Girl, a feature-length documentary about Susan Oliver. I would imagine that if you know Susan Oliver for anything, it's this. <laughs> I was sitting in my armchair back in the uh, summer of 2011 watching that iconic episode of Star Trek and uh, when Susan Oliver came on I happened to look her up on IMDB on the Internet Movie Database and I was stunned at what I saw. I mean, usually when you look someone up who was a guest star on Star Trek and you haven't seen in a number of years they, they had a handful of credits, a couple dozen maybe. In this case I found a woman who had over 125 credits and had managed to rack them all up before she died a rather untimely death in 1990 due to cancer. I was even more amazed to see that she had directed an episode of MASH, an episode of Trapper John M.D. in the early 80s. And if you know anything about this town, Hollywood, in the 1980s, you know this was a town that did not welcome female directors. Now over time, I read her autobiography and I was really quite amazed to find out other things about her. She was a record-setting female aviator in the 60s and 70s. She once flew a single-engine plane across the Atlantic in 1967. And she probably was the first woman ever to be qualified to fly in a Learjet. Everything I kept discovering about her kept blowing me away as to how she could be so completely forgotten nowadays. No one knows who she is. If you know her for anything, it's that Star Trek role and maybe her performance on The Twilight Zone with Roddy McDowell, but that doesn't even scratch the surface. She was one of the original members of the AFI Directing Workshop for Women, which is still around today, thanks largely to people like Susan Oliver, who brought it a lot of attention at a time when it needed the funding, and, and she also left significant funding for that program in her will when she passed away. She's thought of as just another pretty face, and she really was so much more than that. I think, if, if nothing else, the universe kind of owes her a little recognition and remembrance. So primarily what I need the money from this Kickstarter campaign for are post-production and in that category mainly a very good editor. Uh, someone who's had experience with documentary films, not just a kid out of film school who knows how to work the software. The other big thing is uh, legal representation and that's mainly for clip licensing and in the cases where we need to negotiate contracts or whatever we have to pay. Obviously with an actress like Susan Oliver who worked with literally everybody, well over 100 or 200 credits to her name, um, there are a lot of clips we want to use and um, that's going to cost us some money. We're limited basically when it all comes down to it by how much money we have to throw at that. So in addition to just the standard award levels which will get you a copy of the movie and I hope you can all at least do that, we also um, have some higher award levels where you can get publicity stills of Susan that actually were in her possession at one time. Her family's been very generous and donated a lot of those. We need to raise the minimum amount we're targeting in order to get any money or else Kickstarter doesn't even fund. So I urge you to please help us any way you can, whether it be donating yourself, which I hope you can do, but also please, please share the link to this Kickstarter page to all of your friends, retweet, post it on Facebook, email, just word of mouth, anything you can possibly do to spread the word. Every dime we raise, even if we exceed our limit, is going into making this a better documentary. We will edit right up to the last minute, limited only by how much money I have to continue paying the editor. We will license as many clips as we possibly can. I will do everything I can to make this the best documentary possible. One parting thought before I go. You may be able to say no to me, but how could you possibly say no to her? <laughs>